Welcome to Mindfulness Manufacturing, the podcast for manufacturing leaders and professionals. Designed for high impact on your way to work or unwind on your way home to gain clarity for tomorrow. Step out of your comfort zone and discover new perspectives to add value, get results, and make a difference. Yes, let's jump in. Hey, Dave, I got to tell you something. It's really important. I just need to make sure you're not going to tell anybody, right, Dave? Hey, I'm not telling anybody except if it's illegal, immoral, or unethical. I, I can't, I can't hold, I can't uh, commit to that. But anyway, go ahead. Okay, that's cool. Well, D- Joe told me this, and he told me not to tell anybody, but I trust you, so I'm going to tell you. All right. Wait, 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 wait! Stop right there, <laughs> dude. That immediately tells me, makes me question whether I trust you from this point forward or not. What are you talking about? I got some, I got something I got to share with you. Yeah, but look, I'm telling you, man. I mean, you tell me that. How many other good buddies do you have? <laughs> right. And uh, I, you know, I, I, that's, that's just the way it is. I mean, I, I love you and all, but you tell me, Hey, I got something to tell you, but I'm not going to tell any but don't tell anybody else. Nah, uh, it, it, it creates a question in my mind. So where are you going with this, man? Well, I'm excited today because there was a great conversation. We had Bob Berg on go giver and that was Joe Johnson that introduced uh, that book to me. We've had some different great conversations and, and one of them was just around what we start with today, right? How do you share information? And I love Joe for his, authenticity and he's been grooming hundreds of leaders in the financial industry for 25 years he's in the really in the people industry and the mindfulness industry so we're, we're here today with joe welcome welcome joe thank you so much for being here Brett. man i mean that's just um uh, what i mean why are you why would you even want to join us to talk about a subject like this today well you know knowing trevor like i do it's a big risk <laughs> uh, but <laughs> but uh, we we uh, we spend some time just uh, catching up and going on walks in the neighborhood and, and uh, you know some really interesting discussions uh, come out of it and when uh, we had a great discussion uh, about a week or two ago really really engaging conversation I made a passing remark like Trevor you should you should go home and take notes and write some of this stuff down uh, after after some of these real deep conversations we have and. and uh, well, I don't know how often he does that, but he did it on this case and, and uh, asked me to come along and, and kind of share my feelings. And, and uh, so here I am. All right. So now we're sitting on the edge of our seat. I mean, what's this all about? I mean, what was that conversation with about? <laughs> well, uh, I hear Trevor talk about mindfulness a lot and how important it is to, to have be mindful of, of things your actions and what you say and do and well I had a lapse in that uh, mindfulness I guess you could say and I, I'm in the process of going through a major career change not career change but a job change I said offhand that oh I've got to, got to be done here with this discussion in the next half hour I've got a, a one-on-one with an individual that that reports to me I want that I want to let them know that that I'm getting ready to make this move and Trevor looked at me, kind of cocked his head a little bit and said, you know, why would you want to share that? And why would you want to share it now? And I said, well, you know, I feel some loyalty uh, to this individual. I, um, I brought him over from another career and, uh, and I've spent a lot of time, you know, developing him and getting him trained up. And, you know, I feel like he has a right to know that although he made a career change at my recommendation that, you know, I had another opportunity that it was something I needed to take advantage of. And, and he's like, yeah, but if you're not, if you're not ready to, to really quite yet pull that trigger, I don't think it's up to you, but I don't really think that you've thought that through. You know, it was really eye-opening because it's a, it's something that I practice, um, you know, <laughs> my whole career and I had a momentary lapse of judgment and, uh, and uh, we got into this broad discussion about it. So it was, it was good. So, th- so there's a difference in being transparent in sharing real world stuff, real time stuff and being truthful with people, right? 
there's a difference in that and maybe letting the cat out of the bag too soon. I mean, is that where you're going with this? Uh, I mean, help us out. Yeah, a, a little bit. It just, it, you know, Trevor asked me the question in that discussion, you know, what, what will be gained by you giving him that information at this time? I thought about it and I'm like, really nothing for him, but probably adding stress to his life. <laughs> and, and it was more about me being more selfish as the more, as the more I thought about it, it was like, you know, I'm, I'm getting this off my chest because it'll make me feel better more so than what I was trying to, you know, tell myself it was about making him feel better and safer, but it was really about me feeling better and safer. And, uh, you know, Trevor kind of opened my eyes to that. And it's, it's something that I've practiced, you know, I've, I've had a lot of secrets in my life from uh, business, you know, acquisitions and, and, uh, sales and whatnot that, that I've been privy to that I've been, you know, kept the, kept my lips uh, sealed. And, um, you know, I work with a lot of dear friends that I've been with for a long, long time. And it's tempting to share that information. But, you know, I, I wasn't practicing what I was preaching uh, throughout my, my career. Trevor kind of woke me up to that. So it was a, it was a good, it was a good uh, necessary reminder, I think. And, and uh, so that's, that's, uh, that's where we stand. Wow. Yeah. And I think we all, we all have to practice that whole being aware it starts with being self-aware and it isn't like oh well i'm pretty mindful now so i'm not gonna slip up but that's not the case it's like it's easy when you're the listener and when you get caught up into those emotions those emotions and you're making a job transition or the organization's going through a major change it's like it's a lot of weight right and it's like well what when do you have that gift to share that information. I wouldn't even say, when do you have the license to share that information? What can you share and what can't you share? And when Dave started, he talked about, you know, if someone's going to be in danger. And I just like to ask the question, what if, like, what if you didn't tell them what is going to happen? What, what, what do you do, Dave? You know, it, it, it boils down to sometimes just buckling, you know, buttoning down and solidifying. What if I told them, what if I did not? And at the end of the day, do we, you know, do I have a responsibility to share this with somebody else or not? Uh, you know, I, I was told years ago, and it's something that stuck with me in, in my career, you know, hey, that's for those that need to know, and you're not somebody that needs to know, so I'm not telling you. And 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 that offended me, and I'm like, what's up with that? You know, that's not cool. And but as time went on, and as as I learned, you know, more and more, it was like, you know, that was a very blunt way of of kind of drawing a line in the sand, but that, that person uh, long-term ended up being a mentor of mine um, really took that position because they did not want to put me in a position to have to lie, to have to uh, pretend to not let me perhaps get in a situation where I, I slipped in a conversation with others to where maybe I was not mindful at the time of, oh yeah, I know that, but the rest of the world doesn't know that. And it, it actually saved me. And, but I've, I've never forgotten that, you know, Hey, this is for those that need to know, and you're not somebody that needs to know right now. And I, where I used to be offended by that, I I've, it's turned a 180 to where it's like, thank you. You know, don't put that burden on me. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And, and these are the types of things that we want this community to have help with. Because there's a point in your career, Dave, that you didn't know that was the right thing to say. And it's okay. It's actually, he became your mentor. Where we, we lean in and we want to be friends, right? And we want to build connection with people as humans. That's our emotions. And it's just understanding what builds connection and something in the short term that's comfortable, as Joe said, feels good for you may not be good for the relationship. And it's, it's, it's what Dave said. It's a, 
actually you're giving that burden to someone else. So, okay, so you've told me this information. Now I got to make sure that I don't make a mistake and slip up and say it. Probably going to give me some anxiety that I didn't need. Yeah. And, you know, what, what, what was this for? And to actually say, hey, you know what? Because in manufacturing, we always have changes going on. And it's important that everybody gets a message at the same time. And, uh, and, and I've used a similar line to what you're saying, Dave, is, you know what? I do know what's going on. But I don't want to tell you right now because I want you to hear the message from the person that's going to give the message and that everybody gets the same message. And how are you going to respect me if I start, you know, telling you and then that may slip out by accident, not intentionally. And why, why would we go down this road? So let's have respect for each other and just know that I know and we're not going to talk about it. So, so Joe, what's that do for the trust in an organization when... Uh, where have you seen the, the, the trust gained or uh, eroded because of maybe loose lips? Yeah, lips. Great, great question. Um, <laughs> I've got probably multiple examples, but, but uh, you know, one that comes to mind um, on the loose lips telephone, uh, telephone game scenario that can happen is, you know, somebody fairly high up in an organization shares, you know, something to you know, either a peer or a subordinate that, that shouldn't really be privy to that information at that time. As a result, you know, they've got a best buddy that works in the company. They confided in that individual and so on and so on and so on. Pretty soon, there's a major rumor going around that ends up the final version is completely 180 degrees from what the original plan and the, and the real plan was. And the people that, that are living that, that work life are going through anxiety that is needless. Um, the change could have been incredibly positive and, and encouraging, but instead it gets flipped on its head and it could create ripple effects that are very quite negative uh, to, the, to the business. Um, on, the, on the flip side, I think I've been in situations where I've earned tremendous respect and trust because you know, I had, we went through three acquisitions um, you know, my last place. Uh, and obviously between publicly traded companies and non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, I wasn't allowed to share, you know, and, and there was too much at risk for the company, the deal not going through and or, you know, for, uh, you know, obviously for our employees. And, and as a result, I never uttered a word and went business as usual, as usual. I'm flying to different locations in the evenings, coming back uh, that next morning before work starts. And, and then it's announced. And some of my dearest friends outside of work and in, in work came up to me and they're like, man, why didn't you tell us? You know, this is a major, I said, I didn't tell you because if this deal doesn't go through, this company's folding <laughs> and you would all be out of a job if this, if this gets, you know, if it's jeopardized. And we've got hundreds of employee, employees that are going to be displaced. And they, you know, to a man or a woman, they all looked at me and said, man, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for not putting that burden on me and risking our jobs and our, you know, our livelihoods. So um, I've seen in both sides of it. Yeah. So, I mean, I got goosebumps when you said that, because it's like, that's a tough question. Hey, Joe, why didn't you say something? And you're immediately put on the defense having to justify yourself. But then as the opportunity arose, you were able to defend yourself, right, with that why question. And it's like, yeah, thanks, Joe. Thanks for not sharing that because we would have paid more for having known that in the long run than what it perhaps would have cost us by – not, you know, than what it has cost us by not knowing it. So, I mean, great example there. I mean, that's, that's cool. I, I can't help but think of everything in this world can boil down to the lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. And when we're in the know on something, there's a part of us that wants others to know that we know to either make ourselves look better. Yeah, we're, we got it going on. We're in the click. We're in the crowd. We we're on top of our game, but the other part of it is, man, uh, 
you know, back down your pride and say, you know what? No, I did not say a word because it was not in the best interest of anybody downstream to have learned that outside of the prescribed communication process. And, um, you know, that takes character that, I mean, that takes character to say, you know, stop, stop right there. There's probably not a listener on this podcast that could, cannot relate to this topic, whether it's who's getting first shift, second shift, third shift, who's getting a job bid or the sale of a company. Right. Uh, um, so, I mean, I, I love this topic. So Trevor, I mean, what do you, what are you thinking? I, I'm just thinking of that feeling I had in my stomach <laughs> when I slipped up good guy woke up with the right intentions. And I had, a, I had some confidential information from my work partner and then we're in a high level meeting and I knew everybody in the room knew. So I mentioned something about it and then everybody looked at me cause I wasn't supposed to know. And wow. I just sank into my chair, uh, just felt so low. And when we unpacked it all, it was like, you know, I never really needed the information. And if I didn't know it, so, and I think as leaders, if we can really kind of take an extra 20 seconds and say, hey guys, you at this table need to know this information because you have to make the decisions to get this sale set up or to get these shifts realigned. They were to execute, right? You know? yeah. yeah. So it's like, but for you to tell someone outside of here, don't burden them with that. We have to take the burden. That's leadership. Leaders take the burden. Well said. Well said. Yeah. I, I think there are a lot of different motivations uh, for, for sharing something that's privileged. <laughs> One it was, could be my mistake, trying to make myself feel better about a big decision and, and easing my conscience or um, actually inflate yourself, right? Like I'm right. in the dump. I got this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then, and then, you know, some people can really use information to climb on the backs of other people to get to the roles they want. You know, they they want to build their own little alliance within the team, and that can either propel them uh, upward. They they hope, or it can knock the person that is above them downward. <laughs> and uh, either way, I think some people consciously or subconsciously use that, use that information to try to gain uh, within their career path or, you know, a shift or whatever the case may be uh, to put themselves what they perceive to be a better spot. And, and really what ends up happening in so many cases is that it backfires and, and uh, they are the ones that ultimately get hurt by it. Maybe not right away but uh, eventually. And, and so I think this is a valuable lesson for people to really you know, absorb. So between the three of us in this conversation and with our listeners joining us, you know, I got to ask this question. So what, now what? A uh, great conversation, but uh, you just don't understand. You don't understand Baker, right? I mean, <laughs> what would be, maybe the top three things or top three points of advice, maybe for our listeners and, and for each other, that the next time we're in a scenario like this, that uh, we should be mindful of, what would that be? Gosh, I, I you know, I think it, it gave me pause to hear Trevor's story about slipping up with his partner and getting him kind of in hot water with that partner's boss. Um, so I, I think that's a huge takeaway. And I think just, you know, recognizing that, you know, like we started out with, you know, take a pause and find out what's the, what's to be gained and what's to be risked. Cause it's almost, almost never a zero sum game where it's all gain or all risk. <laughs> you just have to be mindful, I guess, and think through things and, and think about the repercussions that could be set in place if somebody makes a mistake and or if somebody willfully makes a mistake mm. then then how bad is it you know you know your slip up was yeah. an honest mistake yeah but and it was your slip up but also the gentleman that shared that information with you slipped up yeah <laughs> and, yeah and you both felt horrible i'm, I'm quite certain mm. and, yeah there's no winners and, in that situation and, and so <laughs> it was his boss probably felt horrible because he's like now i can't now i can't trust this guy who i clearly trusted with this information now now i can't share 
things with him any longer. And he's on my team as mm -hmm. part of the decision making, you know, but so I, I think I covered two of them, Trevor, you got, <laughs> <laughs> you got any others? That's your storytelling, right? And there's power in the story. And if we can share that with, with our leaders, and it always takes back that, that connection with others and, and that empathy of saying, Hey, here's a little bit of, of the reason why here's how we demonstrate that. And I just love that uh, a steal from Brene Brown, but the safe analogy. And that's what kind of really punched me in the face was like, Hey, Trevor, you got a safe. <laughs> I'm going to put something in it. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to see if there's a back door to that safe. Cause it is, if there's a back door in the safe, are you gonna put your money in it? Wow. Are you gonna put your jewelry in a safe <laughs> with a back door? Who would do that? <laughs> wow. Yep. <laughs> that's cool. That's really, that's really thoughtful. Yeah, um, I, 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 would, I would I would add as I don't know what number we are on now. I mean, I think there's plenty of action items or or to do takeaways from this conversation. But, man, clearly, I would say you got to check your pride. You got to mm -hmm. check your pride and, you know, where you're at at any given time. Is it about you or is it about the organization? And the overall outcome, and if I uh, if I if I loosen my lips at this point, is it about me or is it about the betterment of the organization? And uh, great, that would be a great question to to ask yourself relative to this topic. Part of the reason we produce this podcast is just to have that conversation going. Then it's alive because I caught myself in the time that Joe and I had to walk. To today's podcast and it was more personal but i was going to share something and, I, and then i stopped myself and i thought about what this podcast was going to be about and it's like well hold on let's let's teach yourself a lesson here why are you wanting to go tell this person and i and i actually caught my ego a little bit it was like oh like this is pretty cool information i want to tell this guy because we have a good relationship and he's gonna think that's pretty cool but it's like is that cool maybe not so i just went about my business and it's like <laughs> <laughs> we don't, I don't need to talk about that, but it's like, I think it's that whole thing of like you, the mindfulness is around. It's not about sitting on a pillow and meditating all day. It's about keeping front of mind. What's important. That's what it is. And, yeah. and that's what we need in manufacturing is that, that, Hey, we're talking about this. It's not just about making parts. It's about working with people and yeah. we don't all have to make the mistakes that I made. We can talk about it and prevent others from going down that path. And, and without trust, that relationship and working with people, you're behind the eight ball before the clock starts, you're right? I mean, this whole thing is impacts, directly impacts trust. And without trust, you've got nothing, you know? And so to build off that, Dave, if, if I can't build trust by telling people secrets that I'm not supposed to say, and Joe, I, I've talked to people that's worked for you I've, I've just talked to people in the community that work with you and you seem to have this magical ability, the awareness of others to connect with empathy. You, you're authentic. What's, what can you share? Give our listeners something like, why does Joe Johnson, this guy that just seems to be able to connect with, you know, somebody walking down the street to someone you just hired, like, what is it? Gosh, uh, <laughs> I would say, you know, if I'm nothing but I'm, a, I'm authentic, you know, and I, I genuinely like people. Um, I, I, I feel more comfortable around people than not around people. Uh, this COVID business has, has really taken a toll on me mentally from the fact that, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a leader of people and, and I enjoy, you know, walking the floor and talking to, you know, leadership and employees and, and motivating and, and, and to have that taken away and, and become a Zoom call. Um, <laughs> you know, it's been tough, but, but, uh, you know, so what's one thing that when you see other people, other leaders, that may be something that, that's easy for you. And, and you may think, well, how come these other leaders, how come these other people don't do that? What is that? I, I think for me, it's self-awareness of, of what my strengths and what my weaknesses are and, and the strengths are the people side and, and maybe even arguably so much so I, I like people that maybe it causes me to <laughs> delay decisions that need to be made because I'm, I'm, you know, I like them as an individual, you know, just have empathy and be authentic and, you know, smile, look you approachable. Know, 
And, and, <laughs> and Joe, I can't help but think about with that as a strength of yours and, and many perhaps of, of our listeners, that's why this topic today is so important because, man, when we're in the know on something and we know that there's potential for negative impact, you just want to you want to put your arm around them and say, hey, let me tell you what's fixing to go down, right? And, and <laughs> it's a battle. It's a battle of the mind. And yeah. if you're not mindful of that, you can really make a, a big mistake, you know, because – you know, for somebody that's very people oriented and gregarious and, uh, you know, they, it's all about the people. It's like, yeah, well, you got to be careful what you say to them because you never know if it'll go. And if you, once you establish that reputation, you know, you lose credibility big time. Right. And uh, for the long term. So I appreciate you bringing that up. And it's so perfect for how it ties into the to the topic today you've mastered that and uh i, well, I, 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 I wouldn't say necessarily i've mastered it but because <laughs> we're, we're sitting here today talking about it because i didn't master it <laughs> and, uh, but i learned from it and there was a great yeah. reminder but uh yeah. yeah well thank you for that dave well and you can say authenticity all you want that's a big fancy word for just being real and uh, for for your willingness and, and ability to, you know, get on a podcast like this and, and be authentic, be be real, uh, there is no doubt in my mind that, that that listeners will benefit from this and perhaps be inspired that where where maybe they were coming into it today saying what's the use. Last last words of advice, Joe, for our, our listeners. How do you build trust if you can't share the message? Ooh. Well, I, I think it, it depends <laughs> on the scenario, of course, but I think you, you build trust in the example that I used, which was you found out the same time everybody else found out, even though we're really, really good friends and, and we're tight and we've had a 15, 20 year career together. You need to understand that I did it because we're such good friends. And that's why I didn't share it with you. I wouldn't have shared it with anybody anyway, but I was protecting you. And in my, my particular circumstances, that was, you know, the God's honest truth. I literally, if this, if these moves got out, uh, our deals would have been off and, and people would have lost their jobs. So it was from my heart of hearts. And, and, uh, and I think people that know me and have worked with me and have been friends with me know that I'm a sincere uh, individual. And, and if I truly felt there was risk to them by sharing information, they, they trust that. And, and they believe that. That's powerful, Joe. That is powerful, man. You know, when Trevor is speechless, <laughs> you, know, you, you know you said something that is uh, going deep there. So uh, you, you might have said something not so mindful. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. When we want to build trust, sometimes it's just doing less work and saying less. And that, that's just the, the, the beauty of all this. And how can you just listen more and take some of that responsibility off yourself of feeling, oh, I should say this or I should share this. And, you know, how about being curious about others? And then when you got that little monkey in your brain that I had last week and, and just ask yourself that question. And I honestly did. And I said, what if, what if I don't ask? So I'll leave you with that today. Ask that question, see if it helps you and appreciate you listening. Thanks for coming on, Joe. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to join us today. How you show up matters. We'd love for you to subscribe, share with a colleague and tell us what you think. Your feedback's important to provide this high-quality, powerful program that makes a difference in your life and others. Take care. See See you you next time. time.